Hey, hey, everyone. It is Jane. Happy Monday to you. Hello. Um, we're actually recording a few podcasts, a few guests this month as well. So keep uh, keep looking at that. We have Beth. Are we? Fitness. Beth Ooh. Fitness. <laughs> I cannot wait to just swear with her. She's gonna. When is she coming on? Did you tell me about this? Is it in my uh, calendar? I don't know if it's in your calendar, but I booked our um, guests always on a Wednesday at nine a.m. So I was just gonna tell you that morning, like, hey, we're <laughs> we're doing this. Um, it didn't affect our schedule, so I didn't really tell you about it. But yes, we are. She's gonna be on our podcast. Um, I really want to talk to her about multiple things, but anyway, so that's coming up. We have, uh, Katie Brinston. Um, you're going to really enjoy her. I've, uh, had some meetings with her before, but I love her approach to, uh, mindset work and whatever. She's like really same language as us. Great language. Um, and she's helping women, I guess, get their power back. Uh Um, so that she's fun. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for your support. We're so close to 1 million downloads. Um, and I'm planning something. I don't know. I've been like flirting with ideas. Oh, when she gets, she gets her head down guys. And she gets ideas. She can't yesterday. She's like, got some ideas. I I like them all. Yeah. I just want you to know that I hired that DJ that I was talking to you about, sent him a message. And I was like, I need you for a couple of things. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're going for it. And I was like, I am usually very disappointed in DJs and we will have to work together because you need to be at my standards. And he's like, we will work together and you will not be disappointed. And I was like, that's what they keep saying. That's what the I saying. love. Do you know what? Uh, one of my most favorite things about you is just your directness because someone could be like, would go in, hire the DJ, talk shit about the DJ, be disappointed. You wouldn't do that. You say, this is what I want. Like when we work with Paul, Jose is like, I will be annoying. These are the expectations. Take me or leave me as I am. I am a lot to work with. I am a lot. Yes. And I, you know, like, and I, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. that is how I, that is how I behave. Um, And it's just basically, I want it to be so clear because I need to be myself. Like, if you want, like, how are you going to work with me? Are we going to be like dramatic? Are you going to be like, do you have an ego? No egos here. No ego, no drama. Success. We're just trying to be successful together. And this is like, this is, this is the plan. So anyways, I feel really good about it. He, um, I asked my brother, I was like, how is he, how is he to work? It's like, so nice. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, drama. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, is he dramatic? Do we, but I feel like your brother would just be like, okay, cool. Hey, like your brother's like, literally he's, that's legit what your brother did and interacted with him. Yeah. It's funny how like my brother and I are like basically the same, but just different um, gender. But there are different things though that are different like that. Like he's like uh, nicer, not nicer, but he's more like uh, politically, like I'm just going to like keep the peace. And I'm more like in your face. Like I'm more like my dad when it comes to that. Like I'm more like, this is business. I want you to perform at this level. And my brother's like, he's just doing his best, you know, like my mom, that's my mom. My mom's very like soft, you know, I'm like kind of somewhere in between, but I feel like as I get older, I'm just like, nope, like this is not okay. (laughs) I like kind of learned a lot through like putting the pool in. Um, And you know what also is hard for me sometimes because I'm the adult and I do absolutely everything. So it's like, if there's an issue, it is like me that has to deal with it. So sometimes I'm like, I just can't. (laughs) <laughs> I know what you're saying. There are things that happen in my life. And I'm like, why am I the adult? Why do I need to like, like, especially when it comes with the kids, like Dia's like hot tub folliculitis. Like, it was just like, huh, like, is, is this okay? Is she going to survive? Like, yeah. why am I the adult for her survival? You know what yeah. I mean? She's like, oh my you God. Grow you grow yeah. her. Is grew that her. better? Um, yes. You know, sometimes when you're like, you really want it to be better. So you hey. like say like, I think it looks better. Hey. Um, I think it looks better. I think that the dots are getting less and less uh, spreading. They're more like just, dee, 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 dee. there's a lot of them. Her poor naked body. Like when she is naked, it is the saddest scene ever. If you were like, <gasps> um, also when people see her, they're like, she went to Sky Zone. And I could tell like moms are just like looking at her arms and looking at whatever. And they must've been like, <gasps> does she have a chicken box? You know? And I was like, no. She just went into a hot tub and everyone just got all of this. And I love how doctors are like, yep, this is totally common. And now people like the amount of people that responded to my stories of seeing her naked body were like, oh my God, this happened to me last year. This happened to me at a resort. This happened to me at a hot tub. This oh, happened. Oh, imagine if you're on vacation and that happens. Arat. Arat po Um, Okay. Uh, two things before we actually get going here. 
that I thought about is that these shows that we're doing are coming. They really are coming. We should talk to our people about them. What am I putting on my body? What are you putting on your body? Do you have an outfit for January or February 3rd? February 3rd. Okay. So the Delta show, you guys, uh, yeah. we're doing, we've been hired by Fredericton, uh, the festival of Frostival, um, and we're doing a show for them. So at the, uh, Delta in Fredericton, super exciting. So this is February 3rd. You can still buy tickets. Uh, last I heard there was still like a handful of tickets left. Um, but, um, it's a girl's night, ultimate girl's night. I am going to wear that blazer I bought at Zara. Okay. With something I'm, I'm thinking of also stealing that look from, that girl we both follow that wore the thing underneath. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the scandalous thing The like, the yes. Thing. Yeah. I'm wearing, yes. like, like I'll wear a bra. She wasn't wearing a bra, but I'll wear a bra. Um, like one of my like really cute, uh, bra. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'm thinking that look, but then I need pants. So it's like, I, I don't know, but that blazer is going to be a part of my look. Yes. Okay. 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 This is important for me to know. And then we have, I don't know if we can even say about the February 10th show, but let's, we are supposed to have a February 10th show. We're not going to say where, what, and when just okay. yet until we have the details I did send. So this is how I work. So basically the people that are hiring us for that show, I sent them an email. They have not responded within an hour. And I just like felt like I wanted info right now. So I had them via text. And then I said, I already sent you an email, but I'm not being patient. I want to know what's happening. Like I am pumped about this show. So she's like, I'm actually going into a meeting right now. Still haven't heard, but I understand. I understand that not everyone's at my level of intensiveness. Um. Wow. Okay. And that show is the dress we bought in Toronto, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So that is like a Valentine's day show, you guys. So we have two shows in, in one week, almost like in eight days, we have two shows. The Delta in Fredericton is actually gorgeous as well. Okay. Like, it's beautiful. Like they have a beautiful hotel bar. Like I big dreams here. Big dreams. Yes. Big dreams. Yes. Okay. So now that I know what you're wearing, I can think about what I'm wearing. Cause I feel like I often leave to the last minute and then I order something and I don't always like it. And then I'm like, so I want to like be on it. I want to order things, try them on, return yes. them. Yes. Yeah. Where, where yeah. am I ordering from? I want to say Sheen. Um, so you don't like Sheen. I love Sheen, but like Sheen is more maybe for my body type. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, the Valentine's day show, you know, like the, we want a violent Valentine's day vibe. So my dress is very Valentine's day vibe. The other one is more like, I mean, it's still very close to Valentine's and it's still very like, still like, uh, it's more like, uh, fancy, sexy, fancy, sexy, fancy, sexy, sexy slutty, fancy. Okay. Okay, so I'm writing that down. So the theme for the Delta show is sexy, slutty, slutty fancy. Fancy, yeah. Okay. Check. And the other show is Valentine's. Valentine's, cute, fun, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be fun. Mm. Yeah. Oh, maybe like a tutu, like a red tutu. That would be fun. That could be really fun. Like you don't have to like, it, it doesn't have to be skin tight though. Like you, you like have a fun look because it's a yes. fun show. That is a fun show. Yes, yes. I like that. I like that idea. Okay. 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 How about we wait for them to actually like promote Tell us. the show? Yeah. Promote the show so that it's really happening. I mean, we have a contract with them, but maybe they're going to break it. Who freaking knows? I did mean, it's sign that contract on my behalf. I did. Of course, friend. Um, <laughs> what if I, <laughs> I am going to send her another text? Is that too much? Um, I, I, here's my tick. Am I going to hear from you today? Um, how annoying am I is how, see, I, see that's how I, well, this is what I sent her. This is how I work. I am annoying. And then I say out loud, I know I'm annoying. And then it usually brings down the annoyingness because people are like, oh, at least she's annoying. And I can't be annoyed with her because she knows it and she's choosing to be this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Everyone, thank you for being a part of that. Um, okay. That was the first thing you wanted to know my outfits. Next. Okay. Thing. The next thing is tonight is your Disney webinar. Oh. Yes. Okay. So my Disney webinar is actually starting today, uh, yes. uh, January 9th. So I go live every single day this week. Are you going to, I was thinking, are you going to watch? You're going to wait till you're closer to your trip. Like I understand that you're a busy human and like, are you going to wait a little bit? But I, I would love for you to at least watch today's. Okay. Cause today is like where to start and the things you have to do today should happen actually today, Alicia for your March. Uh, yeah. It should happen this, like it should happen this week or very soon. 
I have to book my car too. Um, okay. So, um, uh, uh, what time is it at again? It's at 2 p.m. every afternoon. You don't have to watch it at 2 p.m. No. Right. But I, I do believe that don't make it all of a sudden. I need to watch five hours. Yes. I think that's important. Yes. Um, and also I sent the document this weekend of like right. everything that I'm talking about is also via document. So like wow. you can like, yes. And there's space for like writing notes and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I need to. And I said to Jose at first, I forget. It's like the, it's like the gateway. So like I booked, I booked the plane, I booked the house and like, we're all, we're going to do one day at Disney. And she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see her face, but then I know for sure. I don't want to do the other one. People tell me they're doing six days at Disney. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So, but then I was like, oh, I want to go to magic kingdom, but the kids are older. So they for sure might like, I don't know. I don't know the name of any of the other things. Aren't we just happy? I know what mad that it's magic kingdom now. Oh, so happy. You even know you're going to Disney world and not Disneyland. Yes. Poor thing. Anyways, um, so I'm flirting with the idea of maybe one other park. So yeah. I need your webinar before I make my decision. Your kids' age, like you can do more than one day, like the for sure in a week, like and and not feel like it's too much or whatever. It's um, me. Yeah, I'm the is. problem. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, it's also very expensive. Like we're not gonna hide it. Like you know, a family of five. We're talking about you know eight hundred American dollars a day. Oh, so for it sure. Is something that you have to be like, we're here. Am I just doing it because I'm feeling pressure, or is it because like I'm not doing Disney next year again? No, you know what I mean. So for me, it's like absolutely recommend that you would do animal kingdom as, as well. I think it's like such a fun park. Um, and it's beautiful as well. Um, and also it's your first time. Oh my God. I, like, it's so fun to see. Did you see that? Like that post where people post when they're going and, and most people, it is their first or second time, which I'm like, okay, this webinar is perfect for you. Um, and you know what, at the beginning, I understand it's taking a lot of my time and, um, you know, there is a cost to this service. And like, for me, it, it, it just is this thing that I'm really passionate about. And I really want to share all my like do's and don'ts and like my little tricks. Cause I've been to Disney probably like 15 times, but like, it really is about the simplicity and the like, eh, 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 eh. because I've been reading blogs just to like, see what is, what is out there as information. And I'm like, holy shit, as a first timer, I would feel so overwhelmed by the words. <laughs> Like there's so many words and it's, it's lingo. Like you say lightning lane and genie plus like people, they need explanation and they need time for you to absorb it and make it as simple as possible. And that really is what I'm trying to do. I also love the day where I like talk about all the things that are free. That really makes me happy because it fills the time. Like your week will be filled with fun, but not like, not like exhausting and not also like always expensive because Disney is crazy expensive when you're with well, the minute you walk into that park like get ready you know what I mean like everything how much is a bottle of water <laughs> um a bottle actually I think it was like 375 so I was like okay well that's like normal it's not like a five dollar bottle a uh, water bottle the food was actually not like you order online I think like a like a you want to like a combo of something like 12.99 you know what I, one of my tricks is ordering a kid's meal for you because the fry portion and the, like, they have like awesome hamburger, um, like hamburger, cheeseburger, kid's meal. And they're $6.99 and you get a drink and you get like, and I'm like, that's what I got the whole time. I just, I just got my money's worth of the webinar. You just gave <laughs> away that information free. But we appreciate that information. Yeah. No, but and those are like, are, are definitely, and they have like so many fun options. Like there was a wrap, it was a tiny wrap, but like at the same time, I don't need to feel so full. You know what I mean? I love this for us. Yes. Anyways. So, um, at first I was going to close it yesterday, but then, you know what? I know that people will have FOMO and be like, shit, I forgot. So I'm going to yeah. leave it open the week of the webinar so you can join in anytime, but it is definitely closed, um, on Saturday because I just really want to give a good service to the people that joined. And I want to be on top of it. Like, this is my goal. Okay. I want to like, uh, right when people are leaving. And so the day they're leaving, tag them to a post. You know Jose mean? Cormier. That's that nice is a app. That is nice. Like, okay. oh, Alicia, enjoy your trip. Alicia's uh, leaving today. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I love too is that you, everyone's in that little community. So there's like a little Facebook group. So like people, like I'll get to see people's trips before my own. Like that's going to be incredible. It um, creates that excitement as well. Yeah. And that like, oh my God, how, how, and these are my experiences. That's what I'm sharing. But you, people will go before me and be like, oh, did you know this? And it'll be like a good way to get so much funness out of everyone else going. 
Okay. So if you guys are interested, send either Jose or I a message and we will send you the link to Jose's webinar. $59, best $59 I ever spent. It is a drop in the barrel of the Disney trip. <laughs> it's a five hour webinar. So yeah, five hours of content plus that community. And I am so passionate. Like basically people like comment in the group and they ask a question. And I'm like, oh, I can answer this. Like, so I think it is just to have that access. You have access to a human that is very passionate about it and will do her best to answer any of your questions. Yes, she um, will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. We laughed at like me saying that I wanted to do a webinar for DJing. I should just do a web. How to be a DJ. Read the room day one. You are not at a club in Vegas day two. This is not a DJ competition. You are here to make people dance day three. Um, but yeah, no, just a pip talk of the DJs. Oh, next business, next business. Um, okay, what are we talking about here today? <laughs> Okay, the tip today, tip number three. So tip number one was learning about calorie deficit. Tip number two was no meal plans. Tip number three, no calorie counting. So you want successful weight loss? You are not number driven about how many calories you're consuming. You can learn more about it. Get ready. She's pumping up. If you're on YouTube, you see her. She's getting pumped. This is also one of our most passionate topics, the no meal plans and no calorie counting. It also what defers us from most weight loss programs. And I'm sorry, counting points is counting calories. In, 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 it, the most, it has the same consequences. In the most odd, odd way ever. Ridiculous. Though, because, so much more work. Oh, and also like you've added morality on top of it. Like calories does, don't have morality. It's just an energy. It is, it, it's more rational calories, right? I see, I see. Like I, I saw someone's like thing, they were posting, they were like, look, look at my points and like two eggs, zero points. What? I would just eat. Yeah. As you, like, as you, uh, how it, Weight Watchers has changed so much over the years, right? Like what yeah, zero yeah. points and, Okay. Before we get going, you guys, I need to explain to you what calorie counting is and what calorie awareness is, yeah. because it's so important that you can differentiate in your brain between the two. So calorie counting is what most of us are familiar with. You are literally aiming, setting a goal to count every single calorie that goes in your mouth um, from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, and you're aiming for a specific number. That is calorie counting, okay? So that's what we're used to. Calorie awareness is more, is what we use. So it's simply creating awareness around what you're consuming, especially when it's easy. So a really good example is when you go to the store and maybe you're on a budget, you might not add up every single thing you bought that day before you buy the next thing, but you might turn the label over just to see how much that shirt is. That's calorie awareness. Mm -hmm. And you might be like, oh, but really what's the difference? The difference is the, the, what's happening in the background. Like there's, when you are calorie counting, other shit is happening that you're not aware of. You're like, no, I'm just calorie counting. I'm just trying to hit this number. There is so much happening when you're trying to hit a number. That's the dangerous part of looking into calories. So awareness is without judgment as well. So not only, and you're not on a budget, Okay. So it's like going somewhere. I have standards. I don't, I'm not on a budget, honestly, when I go to the mall, but I have standards on how much I'm going to spend on a shirt. Okay. So I look at the price. I don't have a budget, but I have standards. I would say, I say it that way. I feel like people understand. So for example, there was this tube top that was on the stories and I replied to the story of the store. And I said, how much is this um, tube top? And she said, two ninety eight. Listen, the tube top was beautiful, but I am not paying $300 for a tube top. Even if I'm not on a budget, I might pay $300 for a blazer, a coat, uh, something different. But for that piece that uh, I'm going to skip it. Okay. So it's not because I don't have money or I'm not on, I'm on, on this strict budget. It's just, I have standards for myself and I asked what the price was. There's no, I'm not labeling anything. I'm not bad. I'm not cheap. I'm not, it's not expensive or whatever. It's just not for me. So I think if we can have the same approach when it comes to food um, and it's not about like, we're not shaming the food. We're not saying that's too much. Can't lose weight with that food. It's just that food is not what I want right now. 
And it's like, it's just that piece. Like you deserve to have full, uh, you, you, it's, it's a piece yeah. of information. So, you know, we, the Starbucks drink that you're drinking that you don't even realize is 600 calories. Did they get back to you? Yes. Okay. She said, <laughs> LOL. We love this excitement. Um, tickets will be launched this Friday. Ooh. So, which is uh, last Friday, you guys. So as you're listening to this, it means that tickets are now on sale. We are doing a show um, in, in Shidiak at the Multifonctionnel. Um, it's going to be 80% English, 20% à la Jose. We're like, do it, you do it English or French? And she was like, just do your thing. That was funny. Okay. Yeah. She said, whatever. If it's 80-20, we are good for that. And I'm like, you know what? That's just, it. my French is almost like choose you. You know, the, happen that the little French of Josie, um, but we're doing a Galentine's like Valentine's day show. We have like other guests. So please look into that. If you're from this area, you don't want to miss this show. I'm absolutely excited about this one. Okay. 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 So that 600 calorie Starbucks drink, you just deserve to know you deserve the awareness. Um, and the massive difference too, is we're not aiming for a specific number like that's where it's real dangerous right so when you're calorie counting and you're hungry but you've eaten all your calories you suffer through hunger no calories left or you get to the end of the day you're not hungry but you have calories left oh i'm gonna eat those i'm gonna find a 200 calorie snack um on top of that calorie counting is so inaccurate inaccurate you're doing it wrong everyone's doing it wrong Everyone. It is not because you're a bad person. It's because it is literally one of the most difficult things like to accurately track. Like you have to weigh and measure every single thing that goes in your mouth to accurately track seven days a week. A week. So are you going to do that at Montana's? Like, like <laughs> no, but really like, I feel like, am I going to do that on date night? And if you're not, if you're going to skip a few days, don't do it because it's, you, you're, what are we even doing right now? What are we even accomplishing? So most people will not do it seven days a week. So that's why. And also last piece, not necessary for weight loss. Okay. So why would we do something so difficult, so hard, not accurate, annoying, that is not necessary. Why would we do that? Not necessary. And also does not guarantee weight loss because you're doing it wrong. So it's like this calorie counting way needs to go. And I know sometimes people say, okay, but like, I really need more. I need to know more about food. I totally get that. No problem. That's when calorie awareness comes in. So we're not like, just like going through our life, like whatever I want, like we're creating awareness for us. We're educating ourselves. Yeah. I'm turning the cracker box around and saying, okay, 10, 10 crackers is this much. That seems like a good portion. Yeah. I'm looking at the cheese. I'm yeah. doing this. Yeah. Sometimes I might, I measure, I measure my creamer because yeah. I know I have a tendency to, over, like I can easily consume double my creamer in my coffee if I don't measure it. So the, that's like tiny little things that you can do for calorie awareness versus calorie counting. And it's also re realizing that calorie awareness is as much as you want it to be. So like, as in like, I'm not, I don't create calorie awareness on everything. Yes. There are just things that I choose to create calorie awareness on. That's great. And as when you start your journey, yeah. you would probably be more cal really focusing a little bit more on calorie awareness than near like in a couple years in. Yeah. Yeah. And also like when I purchase, like, let's say it's like crackers or like side chips from my, to my wrap. I like to see like, okay, so for every cracker, it's five calories or 10 calories. And so I create awareness that there, but I don't like measure them and then add up to my wrap and like, Oh, my lunch is 600. Like I don't do that. It's just like, I want to know individually kind of what I'm creating here. I often estimate, but like often that's a big word. Nope. Sometimes uh, estimate, but I only start estimating when I want to learn more about what I'm eating. Whereas like, I'm like confused by the, what the scale is saying, or I'm like, that's when I up more of my awareness. Does that make sense? Absolutely. That's, that's another amazing point. So if you guys are like, Hey, I'm going to try this, I'm gonna try this awareness thing. If you're, you have a certain level of awareness and you're achieving weight loss and you feel good and it doesn't feel so hard, you're good. You're doing great. It's and like, then if you get to a point where, like Jose said, you don't understand, you're like, cause that happens. You yes. do not understand why you're not losing weight. My number one tip for you right now 
you create awareness, increase yeah. your awareness. Yeah. It's like, if you can't pay your bills at the end of the month, you're like, shit, I only have this amount left. And this is my, my visa bill. What are you going to do? You're going to create awareness on where you're spending your money. No one wants to but, look but at when that. Everything's good. We're not looking at that bill. We're just paying it. You know what I mean? So uh, there are times where you up your awareness, you up your, your reflection and your mindfulness because you see you're not getting the results you want. You don't have to count um, because again, you understand now you've done tip one, you understand calorie deficit now. So like you, there's no drama. There's no drama. There's no good, bad. It's just yeah. awareness. And for me, sometimes I will create awareness if I create like a new meal. Like if I cook something brand new or if I'm kind of assembly, like we, we're creatures of habit. We tend to assemble similar things, but sometimes yeah. I'll create a higher level of awareness when I'm creating something just to create awareness. Yes. And I think that like, it's like, um, uh, Dr. Gilles says that about, um, plant-based. He's like, just so you know, like humans, we tend to have six to eight different meals that we keep on route. Come where 100%. He, he's like, that's like, everyone does that. So he's like, yeah. it's funny to me when people are like, what do you eat? As if you have to like, you only eat different things every single day, every single for the rest of your life. He's like, we all just like rotate within the same meals. Like you do that with your macaroni and I do that with my plant-based meals. Like he's like, it really is. It doesn't have to be this big thing. And I find that very interesting when people are like, what do you eat? And I know that maybe I'm more rotating between two things, but like, that's a choice of mine. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people are sometimes creating this mountain on like what eating needs to be. And I'm like, I just, just keep it simple. Like, and, and and what a great, perfect opportunity for when you are first exploring um, this strategy, this tool for weight loss to keep things simple. Like, oh you know, God. like really keep things simple. Don't feel overwhelmed. Okay, this is going well. All right, I want to bring some more other stuff in. But, you know, you guys, I promise you, we have a tool within our membership. It's called the seven day lifestyle challenge. Um, and it's called a challenge because it is difficult. We require you to basically keep a food journal for seven days, not writing total number of calories, just food journal, how you're feeling your hunger levels. Um, and that's, that's commitment to do that for seven days. I have never met one human who has completed that challenge that has not learned yeah. several crucial pieces of information oh my gosh, I didn't realize this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that I was going into dinner really hangry and that, and I, you know, that was triggering me to overconsume. I didn't realize this, 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 and this. And they didn't need to count a damn thing yeah. to realize that. It's just increasing your awareness. Yeah, no, absolutely. And a society deserves more self-awareness. Like they, they that is definitely... <laughs> Um, and you know what, even in our documentary, uh, when Dr. Adele Leblanc spoke about she's, she's a phys um, family physician, she's lost weight with your weight loss. Um, and she's a big advocate for our program. And she's like, when I see my client, my patients really, I'm like, you just need more awareness on what you're consuming. And also just obviously the knowledge behind calorie deficit. She said like a lot of people do not know how a body loses weight. They still want to diet to lose weight because they don't know that knowledge. And she's like, and even she's like, I knew the knowledge. I am a doctor. I know that this is how a human loses weight. I still needed your weight loss. And I still need, you know, she posted her her uh, transformation yesterday. I just like love her so much and how she's like, they have just taught me how to not yo-yo. She's like, I've always lost gain, lost gain. Cause I, I thought I was happy. I thought I was doing it the right way. I knew it was a calorie deficit, but then I never stayed connected to awareness and how I'm living my life. And finally she's achieved that. So like just seeing her story um, makes me happy, but you guys like it, it's known no. like society needs to increase their self-awareness on what they're doing. And that's it. Like, that's literally the answer. And I need to say this guys, once you have awareness, maybe you feel like you already have awareness. You're like, Alicia, I know what's up. I could list 10 areas in my life where I'm consuming a lot of calories, whether you have awareness or not right now, once you get it, please do not attack the thing that you think you should, yeah. which is often usually the thing you love the most. So I'm going to stop eating takeout. I'm going to stop drinking wine. I'm going to stop eating chocolate. No more ice cream. That's what we tend to do because that's what we think we need to do to lose weight. Yeah. Look at that list, you guys. I mean, like, which is the one I am most willing yeah. 
to change, which is the one that I can totally live without, without sacrificing health or happiness. That's what we want you to look at starting to change. Yes. And yes. And uh, the last thing you guys that we're going to end with is that this sentence that I always say, and it works perfect with calorie awareness, you can eat more than you think and lose weight. Okay. So your numbers are like 1200, 1400. You can eat more than you think and lose weight, but you're also eating more than you think. So like, that's why awareness is so important because those two pieces, like I can, so the, 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 the documentary, I was eating over 2000 calories a day, lost a massive amount of weight. So, wow, I can eat 2000 calories and lose weight. Also in that same breath is, wow, I was eating, I wasn't losing weight before. I was definitely eating more than I thought I was eating. So look how I got those two, those two things are true and I live them. Um, and now I truly believe in them. And, and what happens, you guys, is you think you need 1200 calories to lose weight. So you eat 1200 calories on Monday. And then by Tuesday, you binge on something and you actually ate 4,000 calories that day. And then you eat 1200 for a couple of days. And then you eat 10,000 Saturday and Sunday, and then you don't lose weight. And you think it's the 1200 calories. But if you added all that up and you got the total, you're actually consuming on average 2,700 calories a day. That's actually so easy to do. Yeah. So it's easy. So easy. Oh my God. Reaching 3000 calories a day on the weekend. No, no, no problem. No problem. No. Okay. Ça monte vite. I always say that ça monte vite. it goes up quite fast when you're not creating awareness on what you're consuming. Um, and so just, just, it's just awareness. It's not judgment. We're not saying that's bad, but you do deserve to know. You do deserve to understand where it's coming from because you deserve to not feel confused as to why you're not losing weight. Okay, we're gonna end with that. So in the uh, show notes, I think they call it, um, there's our link, there is six days left. You have until Sunday to get 20% off after that. No more codes. Um, and uh, so we really, really want you to take advantage of this uh, promo, 20% off with code YWWL20. And also come to see me on my Disney webinar. If you are going to Disney 2023, you actually have access to all the content and the community for all year. So the whole year. So if you're going at some time, maybe you won't watch the, the stuff right now because we're going in September. At least you'll have access to it whenever you're ready. Uh, so go and join that. Other than that, have a great day and happy Monday, everyone. Bye, guys.